brings us to legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay. We all know this community lives for its Packers, and the green and gold came out of the tunnel a short time ago, and it was loud. We are ready for football. So are they as the Packers get set to match up with the New England Patriots. Here's the punter, Jake Bailey, ready to do the honors. And off we go from Lambeau. Rodgers going to return it from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Now Rodgers. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Jawan Bentley leading the surge there as he drops him for a loss of six. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Another try after the first down sack. Rodgers trying to get it to Adams, but it's intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off, and he'll bring it back to the nine-yard line. So, C.D., his very first pass of the afternoon intercepted. I know that's a major surprise for any quarterback because, look, let's face it, no one thinks about throwing interceptions. But think about all the warm-up that we saw, right? Every pass he threw wasn't a single interception because, oh, that's right, there were no defenders out there. Little and he will not throw it away. He goes out of bounds, well shy of the line of scrimmage, so that's a sack. So first down went the wrong direction. They're at the 13-yard line here, second and goal. Looking to throw. Jones. This one to Bourne out on the left side. They'll still have a third and goal now despite picking up 13 yards on that pass play. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Harris, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Damian Harris, excellent work there to get in on the touchdown run. And the Patriots have taken the early lead on the road here at Lambeau. Fulk connects on the extra point. And now a timeout coming from the defensive side for the Packers. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. The drive will start at the 25-yard line here as Rodgers will not return it. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Looking to throw again on second down. Rodgers, they go screen with Dillon. Give him nine yards on the second down screen play. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down to force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. Now it's Rodgers. The throw complete to the tight end, Tunyon. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. They brought in the heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play. But we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. 
A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. You know, lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sometimes that's a danger, putting that jumbo set out there. You just get a lot of bodies masked in one location. You could wind up with 18, 20, maybe even all 22 in the box, and there's nowhere to run the football. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Now the Packers gonna go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Rogers gonna throw. They'll set up a screen for Dillon. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Boy, that was certainly well read defensively, and the key to any screenplay is space to work, and there was none to be found there, and they tackle it for just a short game. is off target to the left didn't get there anyway it's no good and this score will stay right where it is the pats at the line ready to go they'll be looking to duplicate that first drive the one that got them that seven nothing lead of course they would I mean, look they're on the road so getting the seven to nothing lead was huge for them right imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road taking the crowd out of the game it'd be ideal the first down run got five here's second and five They'll try the right side with Harris. And he's got this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Packers 42. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. This complete to Henry over the middle. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. They'll run it here. This is James White. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of one, now a loss of two, and they're staring at a third and 13. Coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Here's Jones. 
on first down. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people have to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. They'll try and run with Harris. Now he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Damian Harris with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Patriots add six to their lead. On for the extra point is Folk. And this is no good. Missed the PAT, so they fail to connect. And this remains a 13-0 game. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And here's Lewis. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. the 38 Rodgers firing quickly here and that's complete and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down and that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage so timing is everything this time he waits for his man to come open puts it right on him and they pick up a first down complete this is Lewis seven yards to pick up there that's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. And a short kick taken at about the 16. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Now a play fake here on first down. Henry's got it, out on the left side. And they're gonna have this across midfield and inside the 45. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you gotta figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. The last run got six, now second and four. Off the play fake, Jones. And the catch made by Johnson. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. On the give, this is Harris. And they'll get to him just inside the 15, even after the strong run we just saw. They're able to corral him quickly defensively. Adrian Amos up to make the tackle. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Looking to throw, Jones. That's complete, right around the eight. And yeah, the Patriots are gonna be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four yard line. Back 
to throw. Jones. And he's going to go down. Sacked back at the 13 yard line. Dean Lowry able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. So, first down went in the wrong direction. They're at the 13 yard line. Here's second and goal. Looking to throw. Jones. And caught by Henry. They get only a yard there. Now it's third and goal. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran a little shorter than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. As soon as I saw him break contain and get outside, my first thought and my eyes gravitated downfield because nowadays, most of these quarterbacks, when they do that, they want the big play downfield. They don't want to throw it short. In this case, he took the shot. It fell incomplete. Goodness, it's no good. He missed it. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, close game, second half. You obviously hate to leave three out on the field. Especially in a game like this when you know points are hard to come by. That was one of their best opportunities so far. And they come away with nothing. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Slant to Adams. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. From the 29, Rodgers, and he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Maybe a little frustration starting to creep in. The offensive line hasn't done a great job of protecting him in this game, and there he was, hit again as he threw it. Yeah, another time on his backside. Probably starting to get a little frustrated. Got to keep his composure. Can't let the defense know that they're getting to him. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. They'll run it with Jones. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. Working with a second and three. Rodgers with a give, it's Aaron Jones. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. Rodgers to throw on third and one. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Kyle Van Noy. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They run with Harris. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They'll run again with Harris. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Just a yard of the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a third and three. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. The ball still a few inches shy of the marker after the three-yard run, so now a little soul-searching on fourth down. Here's a sneak with Jones. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. But when it's fourth and inches, shouldn't you pick up the first down? I mean, shouldn't you go for it? I mean, if you can't get inches, right? 
Why are you playing? And on inches, that's your favorite play, right? Don't mess with handing it off. Just go ahead and get the surge and go right up the gun. Exactly. Create that. Just a little bit of space should get it done. You're almost able to take the snap, just fall down and pick it up. They got it there. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They defer to White out of the shotgun. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. <laughs> Throwing Jones. This is White on the screen. And that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. On the left hash mark, this a 38-yard attempt. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And you're still in this game. I mean, yeah, you haven't scored. Offense obviously has struggled, but you're only two scores down, so all hope not lost. Not at all, because we were talking about the NFL, and teams can score fast in this league. Quick strikes, you're right back in it. You're exactly right, keeping hope alive. Well, they've certainly had trouble unlocking this defense through three and a half quarters, so I don't expect it to get any easier now. You know they're going to be sitting back and waiting on everything, and they force an incompletion there. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's Rodgers. Pass complete. It's Adams. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Matthew Judon in there to take him down. Behind the sticks here with a second and 15. Another try after the first down sack. Rodgers. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, but it's going to lead to third down. And now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off right around the 43, and the return here will go to the 31-yard line. So many times we end a game, and as we're recapping it, we're talking about what offenses did and how they won the game. Let's flip this one over. The defense, they frustrated the offense the entire ball game. That's why they're walking out of here with a victory. And they're going to love to walk out of here with that as their final act, that interception. Good way for them to end it. So they come up on second down. If they can get another run like we just saw, it would likely put an end to this thing. Now here's another carry for Harris. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. First down, here's White. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. On second down, it's Harris. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn 
chair. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. The last two plays each lose a yard. They'll try to move forward here on third and 12. Now Jones. Flushed out. Now Jones is hit. He lost the football. And the offense is going to get this ball back. So no turnover at the final gun. And this game is over. So this will wind up a victory for the New England Patriots. And they did it in shutout fashion. Impressive. Would it be too bland of a statement to say they didn't have the greatest day offensively? I uh, mean, you did know. enough, though. Did enough. But yeah, you're right. Most games, it wouldn't have been enough. So they've got to go into the locker room and applaud their defensive mates and say, guys, you really carried us today. We'll try and get you back next time. But as for today, you guys were nailed.